Yo guys, Sans here, and this is my new workhorse laptop. It's my personal one. So I got this for three reasons. Now one is slim bezel design with 1080p IPS screen display with matte finish. And number two, I need a laptop that looks professional and neat. Number three, I need a laptop with gaming performance. And I got the Lenovo Legion Y530. So first impression guys, it's not aluminum finish, but the plastic body construction feels solid with almost no flex. Plus we have a soft touch finish over the palm rest. That feels nice. Now let's move on to the lead. You can open this laptop with one hand, perfectly balanced. So I've seen a lot of laptops with a much higher price than this that doesn't do that. Let's talk about the keyboard. We have the U-shaped keys from Lenovo and it actually feels good to type on. The key trap is not too deep nor too shallow. Now I also got this for the numpad. Now I don't call this a full-size numpad because it's missing some few keys. The number pad like the enter key and the num lock is located in a weird space besides the zero. But soon as you get used to it, it's an okay to type on. Also, we have a gorgeous keyboard light that has to adjust its brightness. And also, the good thing about this is the key controls are really simple to get used to. It's just function space to adjust and to turn off the backlit. And the lights are well diffused. It's not like the cheap RGB keyboards that looks like a Christmas lights. Now we only have a white backlight and I'm good with that. The power button is located at the center of the keyboard with a dot light accent. Now moving on the trackpad, I miss my Dell's trackpad since this one has a dedicated left and right click. And out of center, it's a bit push in the left side. But Norris is using the Windows Precision trackpad, so you have your gestures like double finger to tap to right click and uh, a few more of gestures. So it's a little bit small, but you get used to it. Now the speakers are located at the front side on the bottom part and it's audio by Herman speakers. It sounds a little bit nicer, but it's still a laptop speaker with no dedicated bass. And Hi, here is a sound test. I do this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. Huh! So only. Whoa! That was quick! Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Uh. -huh. Now the webcam is a nose cam. Nothing special about it, it's just people I talk on Skype will see my nose and fingers often. Great idea, Lenovo. Now we have the thin bezel design that looks stunning, but you have to deal with the nose cam. Happy with that? <laughs> now the screen is a 1080p IPS with 60Hz. It means you have great viewing angles. Okay for content creation, Still, 4K is the best with much wider color, but for me, this is fine. As long as it's IPS, it's good to go. And the matte finish eliminates the glare when I'm outside doing work. So we have an inch of a laptop, and over the front side, we have an angled cut. And when you open the laptop lead, it feels really nice since you can open it with one hand that makes it premium. And for the ports, we have a very nice layout. One of the reasons why I got this. Now, all of the most used ports are on the back part, like the power, HDMI, USB 3.0, USB Type-C, RJ45, and the Noble Lock. Now, that means more space for your right and left hand. We also have two more USB 3.0 on your left and right hand, and our combo jack audio on the left side. 
Alright guys, now don't get too happy about the ports. We still have the missing part, the SD card reader. I use that the most for editing videos. Now sadly we don't have that and it's 2019 so let's just deal with it. Now it's a 15 inch laptop, but since it has a thin bezel, the footprint of the laptop is much smaller than a regular 15 inch laptop. Now configuration that I have on this laptop is the Intel Core i8300H8 gen processor and a GTX 1050, 8GB of RAM, DDR4. Storage we have 128M.2 SSD and a 1TB hard drive. Battery life is 52.5 watt hour that will last up to 3 to 5 hours of light use and goes down to 2 hours or less when you're doing games or rendering a long video and of course if you're editing like Photoshop, uh, Premiere, After Effects, it goes down to 2 hours or even less. Now you can configure this laptop up to Core i7 and up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And I gotta say, the i7 is the sweet spot. But for my budget, the Core i5 is okay. I just need to upgrade this to 16 gigabytes because right now it's on 8 gigabytes DDR4. And this would be a solid workhorse. Now moving on to the aesthetics of the laptop, we have an Illuminating Legion logo on the left hand side that looks stunning. Not too gamery, it's just like yeah, I may look like neat on the outside but I'm a beast on the inside. I have a GTX 1050 inside guys, I can play games you know. Now on the top part we have a circular vinyl finish that looks really awesome. Sad part. Of this, you can't stick any sticker on it since of this texture, it won't stick. But still, you have that vinyl finish and you can do this. If you can hear that, that's awesome. Alright, now let's move on to the cooling part. Since this is a desktop grade hardware, it heats up and it's a gaming laptop. Now, over the palm rest, I can feel the heat, but this is most common to most gaming laptops with gaming performance. Most of the gaming laptops I've tried from 2018 and 2019 does this. So it heats up on the palm rest, but not to the point that you are going to be, uh, you know, burned. Now I have some issue plugging my power adapter since the plug is flat and almost looks like the USB. And <laughs> believe me, I've been plugging the power port on the USB port for several times. And what I did here is just take an orange tape marker so I know where is the power plug is located. Now I gotta say I'm impressed with the power adapter since it's looks nice and we have a cable management strap built in it's a 135 watts power adapter so it's a little bit larger than your normal laptop adapter but yeah this looks nice now i'm very happy with my decision i got the three things i needed the most i need a slim design bezel uh, with 1080p ips screen display that is matte finish now I need a laptop that looks professional, which is all black with matte finish. And also I need a laptop with gaming performance for content creation. All right guys, so if you're interested in getting this laptop and for more detailed specification, check the link in the description box. And again guys, my name is Hans Andres and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.